So we look at yeah, that's the camera. Yeah, like yeah. the actual like yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah. So we are recording. Just keep an eye on that red light. If it goes off, that means not recording anymore. But now we are recording, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. How you doing, guys? Uh, welcome to another multi-story curbside chat. It's a um a bit of a special one. It's the first of our guest um, multi stories. Um, it's episode twenty one, and today we've got Tony Wilkinson with us. He is my brother. Um, as he, it was our first sort of guest multi story, um, we kind of figured. Well, I kind of figured really that it would be nice to just kind of keep it easy, bit of a test run with a guest, and get my brother in. Might seem like a lazy option, but he's actually a PT in training. If not, you've already, I think you have have you passed. Yeah, in the past. Just passed. waiting for my certificates to arrive. Right, so. I've got my level two and three qualifications. Sweet, sweet. Um, so, so it is kind of all fitness related, really. Um, <laughs> not just being mega lazy and getting my brother in to film. Um, but yeah, um, the format we're kind of going to go for this one really is we're just going to have like a nice candid chat or just a chat with Tony, speak to him about his fitness, his goals, what motivates him, all these kind of things, all the kind of things that we want to try and achieve at CPW. And then at the end, to kind of like keep it kind of fun and in and sort of style with the multi-story chats we did with with the guys and myself, we're gonna ask five random quick sort of quick fire questions. I'm um, you're looking forward to those. Right, yeah. Well, Chappers and Wayne obviously not here. They're at um they're at home with their families, and I'm at my home. Um, just seemed easier to do it here, obviously. Um, but we've got some questions from Chappers. And Wayne is at home not feeling very well, so get well soon, Wayne. Well, actually, no. Right now, he's not feeling very well. Maybe in two weeks, when this actually goes live, yeah. he'll be feeling all right. But yeah, so anyway, but let's go. But yeah, so um, Tony, you want to introduce yourself um, to CPW crew? Yeah, so I'm Tony. It's Jay Sam, his younger brother. Um, the middle one out of three. Um, just qualified for my level two and three personal training course. Just waiting for my certificates to come through. And then I'll start looking for a job in like, the PT industry. Um, I have my own personal trainer who might come on the channel like in the future. Yeah, we've we've been having chats. I think we're gonna gonna <clears> get yeah, him on just oh, yeah. like through Instagram and stuff, like just communicating with him. Um, what's his name? He's called Adam Sneed. He works in the PT unit in Scalmersdale. If PT anyone unit. who's in that area. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> PT unit. I'll put the Instagram in. There. Oh, fair. <laughs> <laughs> um. So he's gonna wear. He gave me some advice saying maybe, like even though like I'm basically qualified now, I'm waiting for like the confirmation sort of thing. To maybe do like an advanced nutrition course, because some people are, like a vegan struggle like with eating gluten, them sort of things. Okay. And then he was saying to also try and get a different hobby outside of the gym, so that way my fitness isn't just based around lifting weights and doing cardio. Um, maybe because he does he used to do bodybuilding and transfer to strongman. So he's won like numerous competitions in both now. So he was like, maybe if you're not into that sort of thing, maybe do like, it doesn't have to be like a, like a, the competitions, just like going on runs, mountain biking, like you do a lot of that, yeah, yeah, yeah. which I'd be yeah. interested in yeah. doing. Just so it's like. It's an expensive world. Yeah. But it was like. Finding that out first hand, sadly. But he was saying as well, help with clients. So it's like, <clears throat> say if your, say if their main goal is to be a bodybuilder, you'd want a trainer who looks that way, who's got that experience. So if they have like, so say if like, you're having any issues, you can be like, I went through that, you should do this, that. Whereas- Someone they can relate to basically. Yeah, basically, so, cause I've not done that, but like, <clears throat> cause I'm quite like skinny and lean. They might be like, how have you got that way? And I could be like, well, I do like different types of training. Like I'll do like push, pull, and then like days, or I'll do, I'll change it up and then, just do like different like type of like hit training sort of like high intensity so so I might be like like using the bottle rope so like going on the rower just going as fast as I can for like a minute just calm pace just rotate it up so yeah one of the things I I wanted well we were thinking about asking you was like um basically I mean obviously I guess your sets are always different you go yeah like you say you probably do a leg day you probably do an arm day I don't know you know I'm not going to clue up it but like um, what is like, what is a typical set? What is a typical, I'm going to go to the gym, I'm doing leg day or I'm doing arms, like say, well, go leg day. So you're doing leg day. What's a, what's a, what's a typical <clears throat> get up, go to the gym, do your set, 
maybe I don't know if you're doing recovery stretching yeah. or you know protein shake afterwards or whatever. What's, what, what's what's a typical sort of set look like for you? Okay, well I do stretching and stuff. I've got like um, I don't know what it is. I sometimes get like random like tweaks of pain in my knee. Tell me just, about it. I've discussed it with Adam. He said it might just be like um, like a trap nerve or something, but yeah. <clears throat> he's gave me different stretches to do. I use the foam roller and stuff to like help roll out like my quads, my hamstrings, my glutes and all that before I train. Yeah, well, um, I, sorry, quite like I was talking to, I can't remember who it was, it was, I've been Sean I was talking to, um, basically I've got a problem with my, is it my meniscus in my right, in my left knee, sorry, yeah. occasionally sort of goes and my knee locks in the right angle position, it's quite horrible, but what uh, Sean was saying that like, um, you, you know, your knee just kind of supports you and the, the muscles in your upper leg and your and yeah, so there's like a lot of like sort of... smaller muscle groups around your knee, yeah. which like obviously connects like your calf to your hamstring and so on and so forth. Mm-hmm. But um, I wear a knee strap, which like helps like so like obviously if I'm doing squats or like any form of like movement, if it's like hamstring curl, like leg extensions, the like the strap wants to bend back to its natural position, so it like helps your like my joint move more fluently rather than like having to like force it back in position as like a much more like smoother motion which helps a lot but yeah so my routine is like if i'm doing legs i always start on the leg press machine just or like <clears throat> just because that requires like the most amount of effort because mm. it works your whole leg like or maybe like do you like your um, your quads and your glutes right so i usually do that I'll change it up so sometimes I'll just do like four sets of 20 or I'll do like 20, 15, 10 and just doing like just dropping the weight. Is this to warm up as well? Is it, is yeah, it I'll, act, act, act as your warm up? Or? Yeah, so I'll do two warm up sets which is just light weights. So it's about like, to say like 40 kilograms just, right. just to like. Light weight. Yeah. And then, um, <laughs> I'm only lifting 30 kilograms. <laughs> oh, right. And then, um, so yeah, so I'll do like. I'll like drop the reps, but like increase the weight. So that's what I, I do, do for like the majority of my like exercises. But I like to do supersets as well. So, um, like in my like gym next to our hamstring curl, we have a pull up and dip, but like multi bar. So there's like little platforms. So when I've done like, just say I've done ten reps on the hamstring curl, mm. I'll stand on that with um with a dumbbell and do like sumo squats down. Right. Just so I can get like a deeper stretch and stuff, and it just like I always do like when I do squats as well, I'll always do a front squat, so it takes um front loaded squat yeah so it always takes like a lot of pressure off my knee, so it just it just feels a lot smoother when I go down whereas I'm, if I'm doing a back squat, because you've got to like keep yourself like obviously like when you're doing a front squat you sort of keep yourself stable, if I'm doing a back squat I always feel like a bit more unstable so just doing like front loaded ones just feels like a lot more comfortable okay. Yeah. And that's that's yeah, that's a sort of like like set so. Yeah, so I, I always like try and like incorporate like supersets as well. So say for me What's a superset? So like Is uh, that like our beast modes? In a sense, yeah. So it's like so an easy example is say if you're doing arms, you could do like um hammer curls with um like with with your dumbbells and then you could say if you're doing like 10 reps, drop them, get a barbell and do 10 reps. Right. So it's like one exercise straight after the other one. Okay. And then it just keeps like more like tension on the muscle and it just gives you like, it works your endurance as well because it like, you're constantly moving so it makes you have to like control your breathing and like, it'll also like benefit your endurance and stuff as well. Okay. So like, I always try and like incorporate that sort of stuff only because when um, me and Adam were doing like, tire flips and burpees off it i threw up all over myself so <laughs> so, I've, yeah. so i've been there uh, incorporating a lot more cardio into my training so i've not quite thrown up i, I don't know if chappers and wayne have <clears> ever <throat> if they were here we could ask them yeah but i've never quite thrown up on myself but there was a couple of times last year when i was in the swing of cpw and i just got really bad wind and I was just like, Whoa, you know, doing that sort of like, yeah. Whoa, like a burp, I'm not going to do it, I'm, I'm not going to do it on camera, <laughs> yeah. but it's like a burpy sort of like, Whoa, Whoa, kind of thing. And I was just like, I'm so close. And then I like, this is really like, well, I know, basically started running as well. I started running last year. Once my, once my knee was kind of feeling a bit better, I decided yeah. to start doing some running because I was training for the 5Ks. And um, there was just one, there was one time and I was, 
I felt perfect when I set out and then I started running and I was in such a bad state after about a mile in that I just I, I felt like I was going to vomit yeah but I also like needed to you know do a poo poo basically yeah. and I was just like <laughs> oh god the whole, my whole body was just like what are you doing <laughs> what are you oh doing stop now turn around and I, I basically like i was with sean and, and my boss phil yeah and, he, and i was just like oh lads i'm gonna i'm gonna have to go back to the office and it was like i'm telling a really embarrassing story here but it was like right i'm gonna have to go back to the office now <laughs> and they were like why and i was just like i'm i'm, I'm, I'm gonna be sick or i'm gonna shit myself basically and i just I, and I, it was like so i was about a mile and a half in it was the fastest yeah. mile and a half back <laughs> That I had ever run, <laughs> I was just like, I need to get back in. And then, I, yeah, I was so close. I got home, I was fine, but I was so close. It was, yeah, so I not quite shunned all over myself yet. I'll be sick, but like, yeah, I can definitely well, see why. I can, I can relate to that. So, Adam's got like the Atlas Stones, which you like lift up and stuff, obviously, right. for strongman competitions that he preps for. And like, this, the lightest one, so it's like 30k, and he's like, Do you want to give them a go? So, I was like, Yeah, all right, let's go for it. And then, <laughs> So I'd done one rep, I was like, struggled with it, but I was like, he was like, do you want to go again? I was like, yeah, let's do it. I got it to like about here, it's like the halfway point where you're like, about to like, sort of like lift it and then like pop it up. And I fought a little bit, he was like, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah. And I just went a bit further up, I was like, I was like, I need to pull. And he was like, just drop the weight. I was like, I don't want to drop it because it wanted me like a big bang. Even though we were in his like own gym, so he's not asked, part of my language. So I just like plopped it on the floor and I had to run the toilet. And I don't like pulling in public places either, but... I can't get to my fear that day of using a public toilet. <laughs> so, yeah, 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 no, so. I, don't, I can totally sympathise with that. But going back to throwing up on myself, um, <laughs> just because you've embarrassed yourself, so I'll do it. Right. So, like, I threw up in the toilet and it all came back out on me. <laughs> so I was just covered in it. And I was like, there's nowhere to go in Adam's gym apart from the entrance slash exit. So my brain was like, what do I do, what do I do? And sometimes, like, one of his other clients, like, she's a lovely woman, comes in a little bit early and I was just like, things we're near the end of the session. I was like, if she's out there, this is so embarrassing. But I was like, I can't go out there, cover this. So I got undressed into my boxes and just peeked my head. I was like, you've got any spare clothes? And thankfully, he never changed change of clothes that he let me, which are like five sizes too big. And I had to, like, walk home, yeah. like, looking like a bit of a fool, but yeah. it was worth it. That is, that is quite embarrassing. Yeah, I'm does, not I'm not quite done that yeah, yet. He does, he does bring that story up a lot as well. Does he? Yeah, yeah so, right. Okay, I bet but, he does. Yeah. But I thought I'd, uh, I'd bring it up before he does, so... Well, yeah, yeah. So, I yeah. throw myself under the bus. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's what we're all throwing ourselves under the bus <laughs> in, in silly situations and stuff. But yeah, you were saying, like, you're lifting Atlas, Atlas balls and, like, obviously we want to try and get Adam in at some point. We've had a little chat and stuff and hopefully kind of, uh, yeah, get him in and do a similar chat. But um, yeah. also want to do a bit of a gym like his a tour of his PT unit or maybe do the chat there with him. Um but yeah, you'd say Atlas Stones and stuff, he's a he's body he's a he's basically training strongman, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, so opinion? like so like the stuff you see on TV of like like um Hathor Beyonce and like Brian Shaw. So like he does like the uh, the farmers walk, like the yoke carry. Obviously like, listening to the stones doing like What's a yoke carry just out of there? So um the yoke walk is um like the big frame where it like oh, goes yeah. like, up and like a little like what the rock does in Baywatch with the with the fridges yeah basically yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. I've, I've always wanted to do that but yeah. I've always just known it as the, the rock thing from Baywatch with yeah. the fridges <laughs> it's good it's like uh, <laughs> it's, yeah it's a bit it's a bit awkward because like, you have to have the bar like on your back as if you're going to like do a squat yeah but then like you hold it on the side and like sort of like you have to like push it inwards to like sort of like keep it there but as soon as you lift that like you know you're probably lifting up about like an inch off the floor as soon as it's up you've just got to like walk as fast as you can right okay so what he makes me do sometimes is like we'll walk drop it and obviously you've got to like turn around pick it back up and go but as soon as that hits the floor you're like oh i've got to like go back now because <laughs> so, also because it belongs like on the other side of the gym so that's yeah. why like, he likes to keep it and i'm like oh god damn it see do you know what i think i'm, I'm, I'm hearing now is like I just I just want to come and do a set again because I went I came once didn't I yeah. and it, I, it, I, it was like I can't remember what it was it must have been 2018 yeah it was, it was, a, it was a long it was time. time it was a long time ago and it was <laughs> like I was like I'm kind of interested in getting getting fit and kind of losing weight no but at the time I was kind of I think I was going through depression was it I wasn't going through depression I, I was depressed you were, you were, I was going through a bump in the road and yeah stuff. yeah I don't, yeah, yeah. Um, and it was just a bit of a hard time and I wanted to kind of get into it. But I came in, it was, and I, I remember doing the set of it and it was, and that, I think that was probably one of the times where it was just like a big old shock to the system. It was like, yeah. it's like shit, this is like, 
I'm gonna I am gonna die here because like my chest was pounding and my heart rate was skyrocketing. It mm-hmm. like it it kind of put me off a little bit. Yeah. Like it what it, it put yeah no it did it put me off a little bit being honest. Just and then, like how intense it was. Yeah yeah, yeah yeah and I was just like I'm like I need to ease into this. And then like after after the counselling and stuff and I kind of a bit of a fresh ahead and I started doing the CPW I kind of was just like I I shouldn't be going to Adam's gym or a gym and like pounding it. Like, like the way we did yeah. because it just wasn't good that's not good for me and my mentality and kind of doing things so what I needed to really do was to sort of like um, basically ease my way into it yeah. which is why I'd started doing the CPD with the way I kind of did like one day a week two days, three days a week and kind of whatever but yeah I, I, I can't remember where I kind of rambled on from there but yeah I, I think I, you know, I'd really like to come back and and kind of do something well like saying that like one of the exercises you made us both do was like one one of us was using like the battle rope that was amazing and then the other one like i can't i don't know exactly what the exercise is called top of my head but the rope was basically like flipped over yeah like this pull-up bar yeah. sort of thing so one of us was like pulling it down but like these sorry come and then you'd go on the other side and then pull it back whilst the other one was like just constantly doing battle ropes yeah and then you'd swap which is also like that's an example of a superset as well. Yeah, and then you'd like rest, but that was quite good. But you that. couldn't stop. You you couldn't move on until the the person. Yeah, finished. so so whoever was like pulling the rope down and then down again. Yeah, whoever was on the battle ropes like couldn't stop or like until slow that down. Had done. Yeah, and I like balled it up and got like <laughs> too carried away and pulled it right over. But so on. and then uh, me and Adam had to like Throw flip it back, back over as Jay unfortunately had to like. Carry on, like, yeah, yeah like, doing it jokes, oh, that's funny, that. yeah. But, like, our battle ropes that we train out with, see if you do in the morning, I don't know the official weight stuff, that's more mm-hmm. of a but they are, they are not that fat, they're probably like the, that fat, yeah, if you can sort of sort of tell. But these ones are like yeah. that, they're like, they are the big, the big battle ropes, and they're probably like the, the battle ropes for doing the that battle ropes stuff, yeah. they are twice as long as what we've got, yeah, because he's got two, I think he's got like the ones you use, and then there was ones which are like a lot heavier and mm-hmm. wider. So it also work, like it works your grip more as well. Because obviously, because they're so fast, you have to like squeeze it to keep up. It's so the last thing you want to do is do it, and then like it like slides at your hand and just like flies and like yeah, it's the floor or something. So yeah, because they make a lot of noise as it is. So. Yeah, they do. So. They do. Yeah. yeah.